It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. I'm excited to share with you a reaction that I filmed back in June of this year. It is The Flood by the band Leprous, and I very much enjoyed this one. It's from our fan favorites, episode number 16, that I uh, recorded back in June for my Patreon. And since hearing this song, and it was a live version of this song, I've gone back and listened to the studio track, the studio version of The Flood, and both versions are absolutely astounding, friends. But what I am most amazed by is how uh, great this band sounds live. Some bands can pull it off and be just absolutely phenomenal, and some bands are uh, creatures of the studio, right? This band, I mean, their studio stuff sounds great, but uh, live is where it's at, in my opinion. So that's why I really wanted to get to this song and include their live version. Einar's vocals are brilliant, and the whole band is on point. And so I am uh, pleased to share with you my reaction, my first time reaction to The Flood by Leprous now. So next up, we're going back to Europe. This time, the Norwegian prog metal band known as Leprous. And we're going to do their song, The Flood, a live version of this one. They have only appeared once on the channel before, and that was the song Nighttime Disguise uh, in episode 360. I remember uh, Einar's uh, vocals as being the primary holy crap moment of that particular uh, reaction. And so I'm looking forward to this one. The Flood comes from their fourth album, The Congregation, which was released in 2015. We've got Einar Solberg on lead vocals and keyboards. He is the composer. Tor Oldmund Schirka is on guitar and is the lyricist. Uh, let's see, Oystein uh, Landsverk is on guitar, Simon Bervin is on bass, and Baird Kolstad is on the drums. Let's see what this one is up to, y'all. This is a live uh, recording in concert of Leprous singing The Flood. Off we go. Let's do it. The flood, the flood, I think is what they're saying. All right. Somebody needs to grab the lights. There we go. is a B. That guy likes it. Me down. I mean, listen to him. If I reach for If I reach for sunlight, lift me up as I scrape the ground. The ground. It's another, I think it's similar to River Down Below and what they're talking about depression. My God. While you see me Just emotional distress, you know. Cut my cord me. while you see me climbing. Let me drop to where I won't be found. Won't be found. That is some despair, y'all. Heavy. Stay with me now when I'm falling. Flat six four one.
landing on the high B. Just like it's nothing. Interesting ostinato. It's not quite in their tempo or in their meter, is it? Search for an answer, help me see. Again, asking for help. Plea for help. Five or six? Maybe it's both. I don't know. Got a mask. That's creepy. That ostinato is is really effective. Keeps it grounded. Put in a lot of chords and a lot of, in a short amount of time to make it worthy, friends. This is just an expansive piece. Off they go. Wow. This is six to four to one. I believe it's a major one. I could listen to him sing all day. He's amazing. Einar is absolutely incredible. A little faster. That is definitely a major chord. Hands on. Six to four. Major one. Go ray me. Right. Then down to flat six. These guys would be incredible to see live, by the way, right? Whenever you've got a singer that's that talented leading the group and everybody else following suit. It's got to be a great time. one. It's our last one of the night. It's kind of a downer for an ending song. <laughs> Boy, 
always are powerful. Pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Uh, you know, there's so many great bands out here. Uh, you know, some of these have barely made it on the channel, haven't made it on the channel at all, and they're very worthy. Uh, I just, we have so many that we're trying to get to, it's difficult to prioritize sometimes. So, again, I think this is one about depression. And, you know, when we're depressed, we can feel quite overwhelmed and unsure of what to do to escape that feeling. And in this song, we hear the desire to, uh, to not be alone during this ordeal. Uh, even if I am actively falling, even if I'm metaphorically drowning, uh, please stay with me. Please, you know, don't leave me by myself. You know, it's similar to that, that Riverside tune. And um, I'm, I'm reminded, just a, a weird thought that pops into my head, as George Washington told uh, Alexander Hamilton, dying is easy, son, living is harder, right? <laughs> Sometimes living uh, means, you know, realizing that we do need help. And in this song, we see a willingness to accept the help of another to overcome challenges. So it's, it's a great um, testament to... Um, recognizing that and recognizing that sometimes we can't do it by ourselves and we need that help and that it's okay to reach out for that and to accept it and uh, all of that. So really, really great stuff. It's a band that just makes you emote so hard. Uh, you just can't help it, especially when you see them doing their thing. It's really a powerful powerful sound and a great band. I hope to get to more from Leprous in the future. As I was uh, looking back on this and getting ready to prep this for the channel this week, I noticed that Einar and Tor have been the only two consistent members of the band since the band was formed back in 2001. And I think that the sound, the essence uh, of the way that the band's music sound is really most driven by these two musicians. Tor has written most of the lyrics uh, of their songs, while Einar has done the lion's share of the composing. And here's the thing, y'all. Einar's instrument, besides his voice, <laughs> is uh, the piano, is keyboards. And I have found that there is quite a palpable difference in the sound uh, of rock and metal bands uh, who compose at the keyboard versus bands that uh, compose on the guitar. The voicings that you come up with, how the chords are actually put together and how far apart the notes are, which the, uh, the notes of the chord is on top, all that sort of stuff. The way that the voicings work, the way that the, the notes actually interact with each other are quite different coming off of the keyboard, which is right next to me here, versus playing it on a guitar. The interface is completely different. Right, uh, just from the way that we can get at uh, the, the the notes themselves, uh, and I read that Tor has made use of eight string guitars in the past, but instead of the more normal metal sound from those big eight string guitars that give you that genty low sort of chugging sound from the electric guitar with those lower strings, what it does is allows him to play more complex voicings as they adapt uh, music that was originally written on the piano to the guitar, and it gives them a flair of sound that uh, I don't hear in a lot of metal bands. It's, um, it's really highbrow stuff, and I quite enjoy their music. So it has been fun to get back to Leprous, who we've only included one other time on the channel, and this time it was The Flood, uh, li a live performance of it, and uh, just wonderful, wonderful music. Thank you for being here and for participating. I thank you for your support, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.